Hey friends, so today I'm bringing you the long-awaited um, setup of my A5 ring binder. So a little background on this ring binder. I got this at Flying Tiger in New York. It's a very fake leather. Um, I only got this for six bucks. Um, and it's actually the most perfect size. Like I wish this was real leather because it's like the perfect size. It's very compact. The rings are a little under one inch and it's just like very narrow. Um, it doesn't go past the paper um, too much, so which is nice. Like it covers the paper so it's protected, but it's not gigantic like a Webster's Pages or a Carpe Diem. So if you guys know of any planner that makes them like like a company that makes something like this but in real leather please let me know because i'm on the hunt this is the washi tape i use this is actually a ferrero rocher container that i got um so it just kind of closes like this and it's kind of great because your washies fit perfectly on all sides like you can get four rows but um there's enough space at the top that you can kind of just throw them on top as well and they just kind of settle in and fit right now i'm not doing such a good job but just believe me that it does fit this is a, a magnetic clip so i actually don't close this very often because it lays flat on my desk anyway plus um, i hear that magnetic clip uh, clasps actually don't last very long if you keep using them so i'm just kind of um, if I don't need to use it, I just don't. <laughs> so I created this little card here, which is a um, it's a paint chip <laughs> from the Home Depot. And um, it's basically a morning and evening check-in for my planner. So there are a bunch of things that I wanted to keep track of this year. I just make sure that I go through these just so that I keep kind of tabs on like what's coming up. So just so you know, like I have this little um, pocket section here. I don't do a whole lot with this. There's nothing back here. Um, I put this little sticker here that says documenting life as it happens because I thought it was cute. And my friend Anna uh, from the Uncommon Plans, like she makes these cute little die cuts, which is a sloth with a laptop oops, and coffee and paper, which I thought was perfect for me. So this is from the Simple Pieces Co. Uh, she sent this to me um, to try it out, and I think it's so pretty. It's actually really thickly th laminated um, cardstock, and it has such a pretty design. It's very soft colored, and I thought New Beginnings was perfect for this year because I have a lot of new things that I want to try out and do. And I have one sheet of stickers in here, like one of these dividers. I actually had four, <laughs> but it was bulking up my planner so much that like half the planner was just stickers. So I kind of figured, let's just bring it down to one. So there's some labels, there's like these little um, icons, like little stars and other little label things. And then there are these dot stickers, which I love using. And I've actually started using these in my 100 day tracker here. So I am doing a 100 days craft with your stash challenge, which is a challenge to myself and to anyone who wants to join in. The idea is not so much crafting a hundred days in a row because that's really hard to do, but um, it's more about uh, making a promise to yourself that for 100 days, if you're going to craft, you're going to use something from your stash as opposed to buying something new. So that's the whole concept there. So I'm up to day 41. So I created these A5 um, ring uh, dividers. So the, the dividers actually, if I can just show you really quickly, so this is a cardboard piece. This actually came with a Filofax notebook and it's such a perfect size that I was like, I'm not gonna throw it away, I'm gonna keep it just for, for something. And usually that means that I end up keeping something for a very, very long time and then I never use it. But for the first time, I'm actually like using it within a few months. So I decided to cover it up with some um, scrapbook paper that I found in my closet which I had also forgotten all about <laughs> and um, it's just turned out really cute and then there are these little Avery tabs that I have um, and it just kind of worked out so this is a yearly section so I have my 2020 personal goals um, my business goals are in the business planner just so you know and then there is this yearly um, insert that comes from Filofax this is actually meant for a clipbook 
Um, just so you know, if you get the clipbook inserts, the holes are much smaller in clipbooks, so you have to punch the holes again for a ring binder, just so you know, otherwise it's like really tight. Um, so these are my steps for every day, and it's not as high as it like to be. Um, anyway, so this is a page just to like um, track my workouts for the year. So the goal is to color this in as much as possible. And there's a monthly section, which is also another custom divider I made using the cardstock, I mean cardboard. Um, and then this is also my monthly goal so i set something for january for february as you can tell this is not pretty um this washi tape is actually for um, covering some information <laughs> it's not even decorative um and yeah so this is kind of all my personal goals that i am working on so you can see like for my yearly goals there's some coding courses that i want to take and um, i'm breaking them up into each month and then there is like some ornaments that I want to make, which is a separate like year long project. And I'm trying to remember each month to make one. For the, the uh, health section, this is actually from Simple Pieces Co as well. She sent me this, but um, the package was supposed to get here before Christmas, which was like perfect for like setting up a new planner. But then it actually got here like mid January. So, um, by then I had already set up my wellness planner and I'm keeping this in here just because I figure I could use them at some point but for now I'm just kind of leaving them <laughs> which is unfortunate because it's actually really pretty and it's really well laid out um, there will be another video where I'm gonna go through my wellness planner just so you know there are these monthly pages that I set up um, these are also from the clipbook inserts and this is specifically just for birthdays. Um, I originally had this completely blank for all of January and I actually, by the time I actually started filling this out, it was almost the end of January. So I figured mm, there's no use of um, filling out the earlier ones, but um, yeah, so it's just like everyone's birthdays. That's basically the entire goal of this. And I only have up till June, so um, and I added these little balloon stickers that I had a lot of, and I figured why not just kind of use them up. <laughs> um, so then there's another divider here for the week and day. So this is this current week. As you can tell, I'm not decorating a whole lot. Um, this is also from Simple Pieces Co. And I actually love this layout. So as you know, I've been using a Muji planner for the last couple of years. So I love the week on one page and the to-do list on the other. But the only thing that was missing from that planner was that there was no space in between for daily pages. And I really, really dislike that because I ended up scribbling stuff on like a to-do list like on a sticky note or like some random notebook. So then um, her layout is that there are dot grid pages between each week. How amazing is that? So. For me, it's like the perfect solution. I've been actually using this for like the last um, four weeks or so, and it worked like a charm. Like at first, I thought maybe these four week, I mean, sorry, these two pages would not be enough for seven days. But what I noticed is that some days I have like an extremely long list, but then another day I'll have a really short list because I'm just tired from the previous day. Or like the weekend turns into like one giant, like one giant list as opposed to like, a specific Saturday Sunday list um, so it actually so far I have not um, ran out of space which is amazing so yeah so here is basically everything um, so this turns into not just personal but also business stuff so like all crafting things go in here so this is more like um, an overall view of everything I need to get done this week so anything from cleaning to working on videos to like working on the website to like doing my nails. <laughs> so like everything goes in here, which is um, really great because then you can really see how much you have on your plate and you don't underestimate how much you're, you've got going on. And to be fair, um, I have not actually finished any of these lists because I tend to be extremely ambitious at the beginning of the week, which is a problem and I'm trying to work on that. Um, so usually I put these three tasks um, here. So it's usually like making sure that I get my three workouts in and some other things that are coming up 
I haven't picked the three for this week yet. And then this section I haven't started using yet because I don't know what to use it for. Um, originally I was thinking I could use it for like daily intentions, but that's also in my wellness planner, which is unfortunate because like this would be perfect for that. So I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to think of either adding something new or maybe just ditching the wellness planner and start using things in the ring binder. And this is what it looks like completely undecorated or well, almost completely blank. Um, so you've got a lot of space for customization. Um, I have considered like maybe breaking this list into like, you know, personal tasks, home tasks, and like work tasks, but I end up just like jotting stuff down as it comes into my brain that I end up just making a giant list. Well, so I need to figure something out, maybe some color coding. Just so you know, they're 0.7 inch apart, so they're a little larger, which I thought originally that it might be not an issue, but like my preference is like slightly smaller, like half inch um, boxes, but I actually really like it because it makes, it kind of forces me to write less <laughs> per page, which is a good thing because I feel like I um, overdo my to-do list. Then I have this section. So when I first bought this planner, I had these weekly inserts from Clipbook. So as you can tell, I bought the weekly, the monthly, and the yearly um, inserts from Clipbook, which is by Falifax. Um, but then when I got the Simple Pieces Co. Uh, package, I was like, well, I really wanted to try it out. So I kind of tried both, but then I was like, I don't want these inserts to go to waste. But then I was like, you know, actually I could continue doing what I was doing before, which was my meal tracking. And this is not meal planning, this is definitely after the fact, just like writing down what I ate. So I really like this layout where it's like nice and open and I can write as much as I want. Yeah, I just really want to keep track of everything. Um, and then on this side, I decided to do like home planning stuff. So it's more like um, keeping track of garbage day and recycling day. Um, when I do laundry or either one of us does laundry, um, when we make the bed, like change the sheets and that kind of thing. So right now I have it set up so that there's a sticky note that says like wash all sheets. So that means we have a guest room and a bedroom. So we have two sets of sheets that we need to clean, but the guest room sheets are barely used. So I usually, I usually try to wash them like once a month because like no one like sleeps on there. So it's just more like getting rid of dust. So I'm trying to do that like every month and then every other week there is the bedroom sheets. So I'm trying to use a sticky note um, system. So every other week I put in, so there's garbage day, recycling day. So I'm using stickers and just writing it in until basically I run out of stickers. Um, I'm using these little um, breakfast, lunch, and dinner stickers. They're from the Happy Planner um, farmhouse book. I don't have enough for the full year, so I'm just using them until I run out, <laughs> which is fine. Um, yeah, and this is also a um, undated planner, so you can see that there's a handwriting in there. There is a note section in the back, and this is basically just like scribbling things down. Um, just so you can see, there is a um, there are these sheets in here. So these are actually from Muji, and as you can see, the squares are a lot smaller. They're like half inch squares, um, as opposed to, it's a very nitpicky thing. If you're a paper person, I feel like that's when you notice these things, but um, yeah, so that's just like, so you have a reference. Um, but so what I wanted to mention was that the Muji planners, I mean, Muji note, uh, note paper actually comes with 20 circles, which is hard to tell from here, but the, the holes actually don't line up with a six in a six ring binder, which is really unfortunate. Um, so what I ended up doing was using washi tape on both sides and then punching. <laughs> and then um, I made some slits so that way I don't have to keep opening the uh, ring mechanism because um, from what I've heard is that rings over time can get really um, just kind of like used up and they to start to not close as properly. Um, so I'm trying to not open and close them as much as I can. And then here it's just like a bunch of random notes, like things that I wanted to include in my um, last newsletter. The week on one page inserts, which are um, these. 
um, so this comes in a pack of 26 weeks worth. So there's four pages per week times 26 weeks. So that is um, 104 sheets, <laughs> 104 pages and 52 sheets. Um, the blog inserts, which are back here, which I'm also planning on using, but I haven't started using yet. Um, they are, so it's like one blog post per page. And I think this will be really handy when I start to like really get into like planning my content. But right now I'm, I'm kind of editing old content, so it's not super um, necessary right now. But I'm also thinking of like, I need to start using them instead of hoarding them. <laughs> um, so you have your date, I mean your date, your title, um, a to-do list. And then I guess you can like jot down or doodle something if you needed to. And then you have some dates for drafting, writing, picture, video, post, and share. I mean, these will be for dates or maybe checklists of when I do these things. And then these lines maybe for like analytics um, for different social media platforms. So the blog inserts, you get 30 sheets, which are 60 pages, which are 60 blog posts. The health inserts, which I um, showed in the monthly section. So you get these um so you have your your monthly page like a like a cover page and then you have your three monthly um goals for your fitness and then you have like these two pages here and then you have your um kind of like a review at the end of the month to like what food that worked great exercise that worked great things that didn't work ideas for next month and how did it go and what to improve which I actually really like this. Um, I think this would be really awesome for a wellness planner. It's making me consider using this um, sooner than later, but um, we will see. So yeah, the health inserts, you get 24 sheets, which are actually 48 pages, which are 12 months. So there's a divider that I got, um, which is in a still, is actually in another planner, which I'll have to show you when I show you my business planner. And then there's this cover, which are, I mean, sorry, which is this thing. Um, but it's actually not in her shop, which is unfortunate because it's a really cute and useful cover. Um, just so you know, all sheets are A5 paper and they're 148 by 210 millimeters, which is 5.8 by 8.3 inches. It's all 100 GSM high quality ivory acid free paper. Um, and that is all I have to say about that. Just so you know, she did send me everything, um, all these inserts um, for free. Just a kind of like um, exchange for a review so please check her out because i really think it's a great product um it's really nice paper i really like that it's very soft and smooth to write on i just think it's a great concept that you have you know like your week and then you have actual pages in between your week so you can actually write your to-do list per day i mean that's like what i've been looking for all this time <laughs> so it's for me it's like perfect I wanted to just give you a quick, um, sh like, just show you what the packaging looks like when you get a Simple Pieces Co. order. So it came with this really adorable washi tape that neatly <laughs> put everything together and it's like this really pretty glittery um, paper, like gift wrap paper. And then it comes with these adorable little um, flowers. So I feel like I could use these to decorate somewhere in the craft room. And then there's a business card. And then it's a nice little handwritten note with a little coupon code in the back. And the packaging actually comes with this. So obviously I've taken out a few of these things from their packaging and I've opened them up since receiving this. So um, trust me, it came a little nicer than this, but um, yeah, that's it. That's the, uh, the packaging. So wanted to let you know what it looked like if you actually order something and I have back here a bunch of like random um, scrap pages that I got with this binder um, it's not like the best quality paper but it's actually pretty decent like considering that it's like super cheap paper um, it's not like gonna break or anything this is at the very back there's a little pocket back here as you can see this is a Muji notebook, A5 size. It's very, very thin. It's like so thin, like you can just put this in your bag and like it's no weight at all. Um, and it's just lined paper. And then 
What I love about this is that sometimes um, I don't want to bring this entire ring binder with me. So I'll just open it up to a page and I'll just write down, well, sometimes I just write down random notes, <laughs> but um, sometimes I'll write down my to-do list for the day and just quickly jot it down from my weekly view over here and just jot it, jot it down here, bring this with me, throw it in my purse, and bam, like that's it. Instead of bringing an entire ring binder, I just bring a really small notebook, which is perfect. And then at the end of the day, I just pop it back in here and I can keep all my notes in here for another day. This is later, Jen. Um, I forgot to mention that sometimes I'll just take a to-do list from the planner and I'll just, I'll just remove it from the binder and just throw it in the notebook and then take it with me. Pretty simple. And I've been using this like poppin um, pen, which I actually find it really nice to write with. It's just a regular ballpoint pen. It's nothing fancy or anything, but um, it kind of matches with the red. You know, it's like a nice coral that goes nicely with the red, um, but it just kind of works. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. Let me know if you've learned anything or if you found any of this useful. Um, and yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next one. There are two more planner videos coming up. Um, there is a wellness planner and a business planner. So be on the lookout for those. All right, see you later. Bye.